What's going on boys and girls, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to the Labyrinth of Grisaya. So in the last episode, I actually really don't remember what happened, but I do know that Yuji and the gang are being shipped out to Afghanistan, I think, or some sort of field to go fighting. So I'm sure that'll be a bunch of fun. We're in the cocoon of, Cap Ugh, the cocoon of Caprice 12. I'm already fucking up with uh, my wording here, my pronunciations, but... Nothing, uh, nothing's new. So, uh, I think where we exactly left off was there's apparently some guy that's in our squad, uh, that is apparently someone that went to school with them or something like that, and they're trying to figure out who. So they're going to go to this other guy who has a PC, because PC is life, and figure out who the hell it is. So, these days, the world was all about computers. The prices of personal machines had fallen steadily in recent years and the number of people who owned one was rising dramatically yet yeah, it's pretty crazy like irl you can get like a very tiny computer that you could use just for maybe like web browsing and email and word documenting just very basic shit for just about a hundred dollars and i'm not even talking about chromebooks it's insane how that how computers have really just taken over of course, that applied to the military as well. The Navy in particular seemed to attract an unusually high proportion of computer geeks. Every time you walked through a common space on an off day, you'd see plenty of people playing games on portable machines or home consoles. Wow. Wow! What? Oh my god. Is someone playing an Eroge? Inside this eroge? That's insane. What the fuck? Oh my god. Wow, uh wasn't expecting some some sort of guy like this to be in uh in, in any part of this game, especially in this setting. Oh, I know what this guy is doing. He's making some YouTube videos. Right, he's doing the same thing that I'm doing. He's, he's having to do the commentary uh, and making it as entertaining as possible while also playing through the game for the first time. See, he's making a YouTube video. He's commentating like how I am. Like, I'm talking unnecessarily out loud for no good reason except for the fact that it's commentary. I just really hope he's not using a webcam. Uh oh. Be careful what you do, little sister. Oh shit! <laughs> God damn it. This this isn't how I react to the H scenes in this game, is it? マジかよ。すげえ。こんなオープンな環境でヘッドホンもしないで音出しながら堂々と変態ゲームやってるやつ初めて見たぜ。He's not even wearing headphones. I feel like a lot of that was English. Uh, Japanese, maybe? So this guy was speaking some Japanese. That or they were hearing Japanese. The first thing that came to mind when I heard G2 Mine was a next generation explosive device. But maybe he was just mangling the word Jitsu Jitsumai or actual sister. 
The little sister inside the game seemed to be named I I I the fuck I can't I can't roll my R's that that sort of way. Which he was mispronouncing as Irie. Yeah, so I think I was trying to pronounce it the right way the first time. Hezare was probably Hetare or spineless. And Ariane Naso would be what exactly? I was a little lost there myself. I'm I'm just completely lost. What? Honestly, dude, like every episode, I think we've just been meeting like a different person, which is so nice. It's coincidental. ちょっとその自慢のPCで調べてほしいことがある。へいへいへい。僕は今忙しいのが見てわからないのかい?他を当たりなよって兄ボーイ。ぐだぐだ言ってねえでちゃちゃっとやればすぐに終わるし。用が
I guess it makes sense. I shouldn't even have asked. That is unbelievably stupid. Oh my god, can he stop saying that? Uh, I don't know why you have to get permission. No, well, whatever. Oh, great. Robert Wilson. Oh, fuck, I really wish it wouldn't zoom in. Above all else, he was a devoted Japanation otaku. That, that, was an that was an interesting one to pronounce. Ja I, don't, I don't I don't know if I pronounced that right. Jap Japanimation? Sure, why not? Otaku and lover of hentai games. That's that's what everyone calls this. All my close friends that know that I do YouTube, and they know that I've been doing Grisaya for almost a year. They think this is a hentai game. And in a way they aren't wrong, but in a way they're not right. When it came to otaku culture, his passion was second to none. While his favorite anime was Pretty Soldier Saber Moon, he was also deeply knowledgeable about retro animation and live-action superheroes in general. The very picture of a nerd, in other words. In cases like this, you might expect to hear some story about how the guy had gotten caught snooping around the CIA's computer network or something, but it wasn't anything like that. Robbie had simply refused to go to school, locking himself in his room to play games all day. His old man, the owner of a butcher's shop, eventually lost patience and physically knocked him into enlist enlistment. Back when he was in a training squad, he'd earned countless sadistic assessments from instructors and fellow students alike. Gross. Kind of pisses me off. I want to punch him every time I see him. And by far, the most annoying thing about him was... Hey, you three! Wow, not even close. Sorry, are you talking to me? Oh my I want to say that even Danny and Millie were, were much more close than this fuck. Why is it that Americans have no interest in remembering anyone's name correctly? Oh my god. Otakus are looked down over there too. Well, you're not wrong, but otaku culture isn't all there is to Japan, you know. Actually, I retract my statement about how otaku culture might be looked down upon in Japan. I actually really don't know. I, I just go off of what I've heard in anime. What the fuck? Who gives a damn? God, you're annoying. Being in the same platoon as this guy didn't exactly fill me with confidence about what laid ahead. Were we seriously going to manage with a group like this? We had the wild child from Arizona, Daniel Bone. The bimbo slut slash general dimwit, Millie Stanfield. And then, the otaku four eyes, Robert Wilson. At present, the squad was already shaping up to be one giant lump of problems, and despite my smug evaluation of everyone around me, it's not like I was much better. Rounding out the team was Yuji Kazumi, the cowardly sniper who couldn't bring himself to kill. I also like how they worded that so it's first name, last name instead of last name, first name. That actually kind of confused me. As it happened, this particular weakness would be exposed not long after we landed, as we trekked through the jungle toward our rendezvous point. Oh shit. Yep, just climb up and get it, boy. Who knows? Doesn't look poisonous, at least. Yes, let's shoot the damn thing and, and alert the enemy. Not, I don't even know where the enemy is. I don't know what the enemy is. Cut it out. You're just gonna waste bullets. Let me do it, Danny. I intended this as nothing more than a little test. 
My mental stage was relatively stable by now, compared to before. I'd grown up a little. I wanted to believe that I'd develop something of an immunity to the effects of killing a living thing. Don't hesitate. The more you wait, the harder it gets to take the shot. Pull the trigger before you have time to hesitate. It was something I'd been practicing to do for years by this point. And so, before I had a chance to regret it, my bullet found its way to the target. Wow, Yuji did it. あ、あ。ジーニ。ブルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルルル
Wow, we're all working together. Leave it to me. That is weird, but yeah, I guess we are in the field, so it's time to get serious. The beams of our shoulder-mounted flashlights revealed many corpses as we passed through the tunnel. Few of them were still recognizably human. One body that our flashlights happened to illuminate had lost both of its legs and one of its arms. Its right arm, the only limb it had left, was twitching slightly, as if searching for something. It was hard to believe it could still move in that condition. It looked like a fish that had been cut open and served alive. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Look too closely, and you wouldn't be able to help thinking. I don't want to end up that way. I don't want to die like that. Those sorts of thoughts can make you freeze up at a critical moment. It had happened to me before. I'd kill plenty of people by now. My father, my mother, even people whose names I didn't know. I no longer felt particularly anxious about the way my own life would end. It seemed pretty obvious that I'd be dying an equally violent death sooner or later. Oh shit, this place has computers, awesome! In the midst of a sudden downpour, we reported our arrival to the S-1 at the Battalion HQ within the forward operating base, then rested in the barracks until an unexpected surprise arrived to greet us. Oh my god! It's like, I knew we were going to see you again, because we... You have an art design, it's obvious. Eddie? I'd have recognized Edward Walker's mountain-sized body and oddly agreeable face anywhere, and honestly, I felt more than a little relieved to see him. Can't say I was expecting to run into you here. Some coincidence, huh? We just arrived, and uh, stop talking so respectfully, alright? We're the same rank, and I'm younger than you. Hmm? Really? I mean, I always try to address people the way they want to be addressed. Uh, anyway, good to see you again, Eddie. What a nice guy. I think I was talking about in the last episode that he's just a nice guy. Come on. As always, the man was serious and honest to the fault, or to a fault. But just as I'd been happy to see Eddie's face, I was relieved to learn he was also a part of our platoon. A platoon in the field was the same as a squad during training. A small family of marines, compared to being thrown into a group of strangers, having a few familiar faces around would make it easier to fit in. Leaving the central company barracks, we followed the paved road that led to platoon housing under Eddie's guidance, peppering him with questions as we went. <laughs> よく分かっていないことの方が多いんだ。戦ったのなら敵のことぐらいは分かったんだろ。強いのか。残念ながら自分は敵の姿すら見ていない。夜中にドーンとでかい音がしたかと思ったらもう戦闘が始まっていた。
Justin Mike Meyer. Justin to k i t a g a King y u a n i a m a i d s It's a pretty common name. Mike m y o k o Steaky House no Maya's o m i d a s n a Kananda k u m a s o n and Amida. Ah, so they were say Kaida. Data near to Wadanga Shotai Cho, Justin Mike Maya Shoiva. Then Benny Tenkai said, Oh, the Steaky House Chain. ニューヨークステーキマイヤーズの御曹司だそうだよ。What the fuck? ジャスティンの上にブルジョアかよ。とことん気に入らねえぜ。それは偏見だよ、ダニエル。小隊長殿は少し、ほんの少しだけ変わっているが、実に素晴らしい人物だ。まあ、金持ちなんて連中は大体が変人だ。ロリコンかホモで黒人嫌いのサディストだ。心から楽しそうに歌って踊りながら捕虜を拷問するタイプか彼は志願兵だ。除隊後の大学奨学金が目当てだったり、経済的に貧しい階層の人間でもないのに志願した勇気は称賛すべきだ。ああ、それは確かに、それは賢い人間のすることじゃないね。名は対を表すじゃないけれど、まさに何恥じぬジャスティンというわけか。僕は英雄のもとで働くのは嫌だな。A Justin with a thing for justice. Eh, eh, you n i m o Chorok the Atskayasu type to Sinso Commendo and a type of Idazo. Miss Courage, she was my bad. I will Amari Kinni Tina Yoroshi. Hatakara Mitabo, Kare was saying he can't work at the Monasa so that it all. Anyway, is that all that's unusual about him? Kare was sent to Kohe Shota is again a guni that the Taiga Kare will Nogoshi, the Zemitz Stishimatano again the Konkai no. 混成招待の隊長になったらしい。招待長が軍医って珍しくないか。Doctors are cool though. They're pretty intelligent from what I know. Well, it wouldn't, ha- it wouldn't happen in my country at least. Is there some reason behind that? 隊長本人は S1 の連中に押し付けられたと言ってるが、今は特に士官の数が足りていないらしい。まあ、あとは本人に直接会って確かめてくれ。I don't know why this is exactly, but for some reason, the military seems to attract a lot of eccentrics. If you look at it from another angle, I guess it's just that normal people tend to find more pleasant careers. I certainly wasn't a normal person, and neither was anyone else I knew here, so hearing that my new commanding officer was a bit strange didn't elicit much of a response from me. Apart from a disinterested, hmm, good to know. But at the same time, I did find myself feeling a small bit of gratitude towards the Navy for its broad minded acceptance of the less conventional members of society. Oh my god. Wow, I, I can't wait to jump into this next time because we're pretty much out of time. So. We'll end it here, still on the cocoon of Caprice 12, which is totally fine with me, but 68% done.、Uh, yeah, you guys enjoyed? Leave a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more.、And、thank you for watching, and see you guys next time here with the Labyrinth of Grisaya. We're at war, boys!